Coming up next, we get to this UFC middleweight division fight. All right, here he is, one of the best Muay Thai kickboxers on this roster, and he's often fond of saying, DC, there's no pads, there's no gloves on my knees and my elbows and my feet, and he certainly puts all those weapons to good use. Well, he feels released, right? He feels released. When he's wearing all that training gear, there are confinements. He's being confined. When he takes it all off, he has an ability to go in there and damage his opponent. He feels like the shackles have been taken off, so he throws that right elbow right across to try to cut the eye. Left elbow, big knee, and then when he grabs that Muay Thai punch, you are truly, truly in trouble because he will drive that back knee into the midsection. When you start to try to take the hips back, he will shift you. Right. Kick the foot down into one of those great Muay Thai takedowns. He's a phenomenal, phenomenal striker. And he came into the octagon with a lot of high-level Muay Thai competition and tournament wins to his credit, and certainly has gotten off on the right foot here in the octagon. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxers, the high level yeah. ones, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai fighter, holding a professional record of 29 wins, nine losses, and one draw. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds, fighting out of Warsaw, Poland, John Blakowicz. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of seven wins, two losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 184 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, Alex Poetan Pereira! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go with round one. Classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the drop tonight. Oh, yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only steps back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both of these competitors. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Big kick land. Oh! Oh, and he gets tagged. Beautiful combination there. And I'm not sure how many more of those power shots he can take, honestly. The night is almost over. If you keep getting hit with punches like this, 
you are going to sleep. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? And he's out. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Wahovich got caught by that elbow, or so it appeared. Yes, he did. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Dig and kick. Oh, head kick attempt. Head movement prevented from landing. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. He's doing a nice job elevating with those knees. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class. Hands up, chin down. Big kick lands. Just missed with the elbow there. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh. Nice. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt fast. Oh, nice elbows. Oh, he might be out. Back and forth we go. Oh. Whoa. Big elbow. So there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. of your opponent with those leg kicks. Effective punch there by Blahovic. Just misses there with the left. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Oh, nice right hand. Slips that left hand. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Nice straight punch. Oh, and he caught the kick. Head kick is blocked. Not there. Well, the octagon, not a great place to be when you're looking for a rest or a stool. His stamina has been a huge issue tonight. It's abandoned him. But he did it. He tried. Wow. He actually got the takedown. Wachowicz's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Now connects with a right. Liver kick. And he landed the right hand there. Wow! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Just out of range with that one. Oh! Oh! The jab followed by the right hand. 
now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura's not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. Oh, man, that was slick. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Just misses with the jet. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Right under the elbow to buy the good land. Nice punch there by Guajovic. And that's the end of round number two. What a round it was for him, DC. And of course, the seminal moment, that big knockdown that he will try to piggyback on here in this next round. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see how he builds off of the momentum that he gets from that last round. How does he deal with the success that he had and not push too hard too early trying to find the finish? You have to let it come to you as the knockdown came to you in the previous round. Third round underway. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Jeez, Louise. Oh, good kicks. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's re-rack the highlight now, DC. And he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early. It was there often and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands. But ultimately, it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 27 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by... Oh, oh, oh.